hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel if today is your first time of coming across our channel my name is sharon and you're welcome to sharon and chris tv how are we all doing hope we are good we are fine so in today's video is how to make your nigerian jello fries okay so let me show you what i use in making my nigerian jello fries yeah here is our rice in nigerian we call it foreign rice and here is the protein I'm going to use. I'm using turkey and beef to make this Nigerian jollof rice. And this is the tomato. You can use fresh tomato also. Here is the tomato paste that I'm using. Here is our maggi, chicken maggi. And here salt. And also this curry so i do not have time i'm using only curry to make this jello fries here is our crayfish bay leaf maggi pepper red pepper and onion i'm using red uh, i will use the white one to cook the rice and use the red one to steam the meat so here is our ginger i do not have garlic if you have garlic or if you don't like ginger you can remove it but it's very nice and here is the oil that i'm going to use in making our nigerian jollof rice so keep on watching guys now i'm going to wash our meat steam it and also i'm not boiling uh, rice i'm going to soak it with warm wa or hot water and salt so and i'm going to blend all this i'm blending the crayfish the pepper and the uh, uh, garlic so keep on watching guys hope you enjoy this video please give try to give us a thumbs up so guys here is our meat i've started steaming it so i'll just allow it to steam a bit before frying okay keep on watching so our pot is hot and i'm adding a granite oil so i'm going to allow this granite oil to hot very well before adding our salt and onion so keep on watching guys this is what i do i filter my tomato so look at it so now I'm not going to parboil it. I will just start frying the tomato like this, okay? So you can parboil your own, depend on your choice. But I don't like parboiling my tomato, okay? So if you buy fresh tomato, you can parboil it or you can blend it and roast it like this. So this is the water that come out from our tomato. So guys, I've add our onion. Our oil is ready, and I've add our onion. So I'm going to add our tomato now. I'm adding this one, the fresh one. So I'm going to cover before adding the other one, the paste. So guys, I'm going to and add our paste now. And I'm going to cover the pot 
to allow it to boil very well. So guys, our tomato is ready. So I'm going to put the bell leaf and also pepper. So now I'm adding our pepper. So here is our blend pepper. I'm going to stir it with the bell leaf. And cover. So I'm adding curry. Uh, Maggi. So I'm adding two maggi. A little bit of salt, pinch of salt. And our meat stock. Stay up. You cover and allow it to boil very well. So, guys, now I'm going to add our rice. Going to stay it. and add a little bit of water. So I'm adding a little bit of water and I'm going to stir it again. And you test if you want to put any so now I'm going to test and check if I'm going to add salt Maggie anything so before covering it so let me test it so now I'm going to add the blend pepper and the crayfish pinch of salt i'm adding our chicken maggie and stir so now i'm going to cover so i'm going to cover now so guys, I'm going to use this foil and cover it. You can use kitchen towel, depend what you have, or use nylon, waterproof. <laughs> Anyone can go. To cover, so I'm going to check our the rice if our rice is ready. Our rice is ready, but. I'll allow it to dry very well.
So now I'm frying a uh, beef and a uh, turkey. Okay, our rice is ready and is remaining the meat. Thank you.